So here's my crude homemade ultrasonic plastic welding setup. I bought a couple uh, cheap ultrasonic transducers with tips that I think are meant for plastic welding. It's possible some of them, particularly the right hand one, might be for staking. Not sure. Anyway, this is a play project, so I've built my own electronics. It's, and it starts with an FPGA board to control, to generate the 40 kilohertz signal, and the gate drive transformer into an H bridge, which generates the high power, it's a couple hundred watts, the 40 kilohertz signal for the ultrasonics, and that feeds a little board here that has a transformer to increase the voltage, an inductor in series with the transducer to make it resonant and then a current transformer to sense the current and the output of that goes back to the FPGA board and then this is just a block of metal as an anvil to work against and these two transducers that I've gotten on eBay the used ones so one of the things I've had the best luck welding is polyethylene Scrap of polyethylene, well, two scraps of polyethylene, a thinner one and a thicker one. Although, one of the hard parts is applying enough pressure. Well, polyethylene isn't so hard, but it's getting pressure straight vertical because once the ultrasonic starts, I have a foot switch down here to start it, then it gets very slippery because the ultrasonic tends to make the tip bounce up and down. So, here goes this one. And did I do it enough? That's the other thing about manual. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps didn't leave it quite long enough for that, or quite high enough power, because I ripped this one apart. Try it again. See if I leave it slightly longer, maybe turn the power up just a little bit too. Yeah, so I think that made a better looking weld there. And one that, yeah, it still tears apart. But some of that is just tearing the polyethylene. Isn't a particularly strong plastic. I've also had some reasonable luck, even though the melts don't actually blend, but joining polypropylene to polyethylene. And again, this is just playing, so I don't really know what I am doing here. Here is some polypropylene and polyethylene. Whoops! And as I said before, it gets very slippery once you add the ultrasonics because it vibrates them and makes them bounce away from each other. So let's see if I can get it straight up and down this time. So there's a weld polypropylene to polyethylene, which I've done mostly with the other head, so we'll see. Maybe this is just not the right welding head for this material. Oh, actually, yeah, well, this is, well, the polypropylene is stronger, so it's, yeah, that one is yeah, pretty tough. So I think that was a reasonably successful joint. Okay, so now I have switched to this castle shaped tip and we'll put we'll some polycarbonate here the polycarbonate tends to make a really messy looking weld because well, I haven't dried this in the oven so polycarbonate soaks up a lot of water absorbs water and so it tends to boil and That boiling makes it a, a very bubbly looking, kind of messy looking weld, but it seems to adhere usually. Let's see if I did this one reasonably. Yeah. 
maybe not quite deep enough, or maybe I didn't have the power up quite high enough. Try that another time. Or maybe I'm not pushing hard enough, that's one of the problems. I really need thick steering light. better. Okay, I'm not good. Oh, there. Get it off. Yeah. So it could be better, but anyway, this is, like I said, just playing around with stuff. And then I'm not sure how dissimilar things. This is acrylic, polycarbonate to acrylic. So we'll see what happens here. it to work well and maybe we'll try the you know, what I think might maybe isn't actually polyethylene not sure I'll try that one one more time with this head okay so that melted through it pretty well I'll see if it cool off enough. But anyway, that's my ultrasonic playing. So the polypropylene works well and the well, polyethylene if I have the same type. Like when I well if this is polyethylene it feels like it.